Hey everyone, we are at the MSI booth again at Convitex 2017. We've done, this is our third video here, so we'll have plenty of you to look for from X299 and other stuff. But right now we're focusing on the Lightning. So there's a new 1080 Ti Lightning card. I've got the details on the VRM components and some more information on the cooling design. We've had a good bit of time talking to people here. Before getting to that, this video is brought to you by Corsair and their new Vengeance RGB LED memory, which has hand-selected ICs for overclocking and you can find more in the link in the description below on that. So let's get to the card. I'm gonna start out with the power design. We'll move on to the cooling. For the power design, they're using a 14 plus three setup. It's all IR control con components. So again, this is a trend for this year. We're seeing international rectifier and basically everything right now, motherboards and video cards alike. So for the IR components, they're using uh, 3570B and 3595A for the controllers. I don't know the switching frequency of the MOSFETs to the full detail just yet, but but that's what we have to start with. Uh, for power, we know that it's a 350 watt TDP, and that's supplied through three eight pin connectors on the card, so it's quite a bit of power going through the card. Uh, lots of LED focus, we're not gonna really talk about that too much, you can see that in the B-roll if you really wanted to. But for the cooling, there's a few interesting things to talk about. One of those is on the back side. So you can see here, there's actually a copper heat pipe running through the length of the car. Now to get the full extent of this, you wouldn't really want to test it in an open air bench with no air cooling, of course. You would want some kind of fan blowing on that, otherwise it doesn't do anything. Uh, but that stated, if you're using it in a normal scenario or you have direct airflow, this heat pipe should help sink from the hottest area of the board, which is gonna be right here where the inductors are and the MOSFETs are, and uh, also the GPU side. They're telling us there is a temperature reduction. We don't yet know the full extent. We'll have to test it ourselves and all that. Uh, for other cooling components, the uh, heat pipe design on the front side includes a heat pipe covering the MOSFETs. So uh, this is getting similar to the ICX design that we've shown a few times recently. One of the similarities is this black, it's a blackout heat pipe on the far right side covering the FETs and also it looks like the, uh, the driver ICs, things like that. Nothing over the inductors though except for a normal thermal pad and the aluminum heat sink. So that's the thermal, the heat pipe there. They also have some extra surface area in the form of aluminum fins protruding from the surface of the base plate. So that's something that we would call pin fins from EVGA's design. But in this set, it's just gonna be protruding aluminum fins on the base plate and we can show some footage or photo of that as well. That covers most of the cooling solution. For heat pipes under the, uh, the cooler here in the main GPU and power com component cooling area, it looks like there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like about eight or nine heat pipes uh, plus one here and one on the back side. Uh, so again, 14 plus three setup. I think that pretty much covers all of the stuff on the lightning card uh, other than the LEDs, which we can talk about separately. Last thing of note, there are two BIOS switches. So there's there's a toggle for two different BIOS. BIOS is one of them is an LN2 BIOS. One is the normal BIOS. The LN2 BIOS is custom. It does not have the same voltage limitations as the main BIOS. So if you're actually doing LN2 overclocking or using exotic cooling, then it would help with that. Also give you some redundancy in case you screw something up. So that covers the MSI Lightning. We'll have more information in the article in the description below, as always, including release date, more information like that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time.